Hello, good afternoon, wonderful people. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Happy New Year. Welcome to year 2023. Yes, our year of level up your business. The business is moving to the next level. My name is Elizabeth from Olinko Digital Marketing Company Agency. Olinko Limited. Olinko Limited. Yes, in today's video, we'll be looking at something strategic. Oh, this year is a year of strategic. We'll be looking at something strategic. Yes, what are we looking at? We want to look at the five psychological principles applied to sales. When we look at sales, sales is psychological something itself. It's a psychological process. Now, let's look at some of the psychological principles we can apply to our sales this year, 2023, to get a better result, to get better in our sales, to become better in our sales. Yes, you know, they said something. It's not who, it's not the person that can talk that knows how to sell, mm -mm. but the person that can listen, that can listen. Yes, it's an effective salesperson. When, it's, when we talk about psychology, we are talking about woman mind here. We are talking about the mind here. So, we want to look at the principles now. Let's look at one. Your inner dialogue matters. When we look at sales, sales people, sales people are the lifeblood of every company. They are the lifeblood of every company. They are the ones, even when we bring in new customers, they are the ones that do follow up. They are the ones, it depends on their relation. Their relationship with your customers will determine if they will stay or not. Will determine if you will retain such customers or not. So when we are talking about salespeople, oh, they are the lifeblood of every company. They are the ones you determine if they call, if they are getting to your customers, if they are doing well with your customers, if they are reaching out to your customers. So it says you are the one creating the revenue streams for the company. Yes, they are the one, the straight, the source people. If they are not doing well, if they are not building a good relationship with our customers, then definitely we'll see our customers dropping. We'll not be able to show reduction because our sales people are not doing well. But when they are doing well, they bring in more revenue to the company. So it's not about squeezing people. It's not about getting money from them. But it's about changing their mindset about what you're actually doing, what they are doing. That yes, okay, I'm not going to this person because I want to make money from this person. No, but because I want to make them understand that yes, we can actually help them. And by that, the more you help people, the more money comes in. Yes. Number two, people don't buy price and quality. They don't buy price and quality in both B2B business, business to business, business to customers. No, they don't buy price and quality. They buy because they need it. They buy something because it is needed. Either you have a high price quality or a low price quality. They don't buy because of your price tag. They buy, they buy because it meets their needs. It meets their problem. It meets what they need at that particular point in time. So products are meant to accomplish something. Yes, your, your, your product, the, your company's product, what is it meant to achieve in a particular customer, in a particular person? So this is what should be our priority. Is this my product? Is this my goods? Is it, is it going to meet the needs of the people out there? It should not be about the price. It should be about the product because people don't buy the price of the product. They buy the product itself because I, buy, I want to buy because I need it, not because of the price. Not because of the price it has been labeled with, but because I need it. So it is our mindset to approach people with an open mind, ready to learn what they actually want. Yes, we should be able to know what our customers out there want, our audience out there. We should be able to know what they want. We should be able to know their mind, what our products is what, what is our product going to offer to them? How is it going to meet their needs? That should be our priority in this year 2023 in order for us to get more money, in order for us to get better at our sales. Out of sight, out of mind. That is number three. I repeat, out of sight, out of mind. Yes, someone says it is not our customer, it is not the need of our customer to put us in mind, to remember us. 
No, but it's our, it is our obligation, it is our responsibility not to give them any chance to forget about us. Not to forget about us. Don't let your prospect forget about you. No, it is not their duty to remember you, but it is your own obligation, it is your own responsibility to always make, make them keep you in mind. How do you do that? Regularly providing value, pros, value information to them. This means you send out informative emails. Either you're a doctor, either in a business, either in a product, either in anything. You keep them at risk. You keep them informed. You provide content, valuable content, not just any other content, valuable content that will make them remember, that, yes, I have this person. The first thing they will remember, yes, I have this person because you are keeping them, you are keeping you yourself in their mind by providing valuable content to them. And that should be also be our priority this year in order to make our sales better, in order to get more revenue, more income to our revenue. Social proof matters. Number four, social proof matters. The opinion and experience of other people matters deeply to us. You know, we feel that, yes, if one person has tested it, if it's good, then others can go. So, we said the first opinion we hear about the company, product, or service hold more weight to us than what we hear later. We want to hear about it first. How is their product? Is it going on well? Is it working fine? Does it help? It? Yes, that's the first thing. That's, that's social problem matter. That's what we're talking about. That, yes, the first opinion, you see somebody, ah, how are they doing it? It's that thing that you use. You want to hear people's testimonials, like their testimony about that particular product, not that you want to use it first. So they want to get something. So it is also indicated that we often feel better when we agree with the opinion of others, whether negative or positive. They say it's bad, they believe it's bad. If they say it's good, they believe it's good. So when their existing opinions express something about, express something, we are more inclined to agree with them. So what do we do as a company? We make sure you are showing the real positive impact of your product. Let them see the real part of it. Let them see the positive impact. Let us make sure it's giving them values. Let them make sure it's meeting their needs, not just giving out content, not just giving out something, but we should make sure it's meeting their needs. Broadcast your happy customers and showcase their great results. Yes, it's a sign of marketing. Testimonials. Eh? You see this small step? If you can take this small step, it can create a better overall image for your company. That yes, ah yes, see this company, they are doing well, they are doing fine. Yes, Olimpo is doing well, is doing fine with their content. They are providing valuable content for you to help a good sales in this year 2023. And so you cannot forget about us. We are always making you put us in the first place in your mind. That, yes, I have a company, I know about a company, I know about yes, Olimpo. At training, they are very good in providing training service to people, healthcare service, providing training, digital marketing service. Yes, we are there for you. And lastly, one thing about scarcity increases value. Oh my God, scarcity it increases value. When something is viewed as scarce, even when you are going for a training, they say two space left. You see that two space, ten people can get it because scarcity it increases that value that yes so for it to for, for that thing to remain just two space then definitely a lot of people must have occupied a lot of space there so there is more value and important assigned to it automatically so it looks different in each industry it depends on your own industry it works in different ways so in direct to customer industry, Saxon can appear in messages telling you that an item is low in stock yes we just have few few of it just remaining few for the first five people that will come get it. So when you present it as scarce, it gives it more value. It gives it more value because they know that, yes, this thing is not just in stock, but you are selling it. It's just remains all small to get out of it. So in B2B space, scarcity show up as deadline for contract or time period for deals. Yes, you just have a short period of time. It gives it value. Short period of time. So when you're creating scarcity, it can be a great way to develop a sense of urgency that yes, you need to take it in just in two weeks, in a month, just few, few time. 
So it gives what you're offering to your prospect or client. It gives a sense of urgency. This is this is not an underhanded practice with false narrative. Instead, it is a way of working your sales around your natural product cycle in your company. So I believe with this, if you can walk through this psychological, if you can walk through this psychological principle, if you can apply this mind, a change of mindset to your business, it can actually up your sales. It can actually give you a better sales in year 2023. And what do we need? Why do we need to, to get a better sales? Yes, to increase the, to the company's revenue, the company's income. And yes, you see that, yes, your business is level up in year 2023. So for your training, Onlyco Digital Marketing is there. For your service, Onlyco Digital Marketing is there. So what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Hmm? You want to see how we can help you? You can contact us. You can contact us at Olinko. You can call our number 070-888-66333 or visit our website www.olinko.com for your digital marketing service this year 2023. We can help you level up your business professionally. We handle it with a professional act. So don't go elsewhere. Come to our link. Thank you. See you next Friday. Bye. <laughs>